Hi there everyone, welcome to Dandelion Delphi. This is really for your grade 12s and I'm going to explain OOP to you. So, first of all, you will find all the steps in my book. And the initial steps here in the front, I'm quickly going to show you on how to create your class. So the first steps is to create your main form and save it. Um, please do this in the same order, else you have to do some other adding of units and so on later. So create a form as you would usually do, clicking on File, New, VCL and so on, and saving it in a folder. So then the next steps would be clicking on File, New and Unit, and this will create an empty unit for you. Now, after interface, you're going to type type, so enter the word type, and below that, hit, hold the control key in, and then hit J. And then you can search for class, and the one that I want you to select is class C. So, first of all, we want to give our class a name. So, here we, it's highlighted as my class. Here you call it, for this example, we're going to call it T-Books. Now usually in an exam the class is given to you, but you do need to know how to create one because it does not have to be given. Delete what you don't see, what you don't recognize like protected and published, and also delete your destructor destroy override line as well as the override at the end of the create. So once you have done that, your class should look like this now. I have jumped to my completed class, but you will have implementation now. And after implementation, you need to enter uses and sysutils. Now sysutils contains all those functions that we often use like, for example, string to int and flow to string f. If you need it for your class, you can also add here the math or the date utils functions as needed. The next that you want to do is you want to declare the fields or the attributes. Both mean the same thing. These are almost like global variables, but they can only be used by this class because they're declared under private, and this is called encapsulated. These fields are usually given in a question paper, but maybe you want to hit the pause button and quickly add just these few lines to your class. Anything that you declare under private will only be accessible now to this class, so we need to create some other methods that the main form can get hold of. So we'll start usually with a create constructor. And for this we first need to go to the question and I'm going to go to my book on page 8 of the 2019 version and here is an example of a question. The question says write a constructor that will receive the following values. So the word receive always indicates the parameters. In this instance, it's receiving a title, an ISBN, a cost price, and whether the book is available as an ebook or not. And then you want to assign these values to the respective attributes. Now, what this means is we need to create a constructor, create, and we need to give it certain parameters. The word receive is indicating the parameters for us. So at the top here, under public, our constructor will always be public because our main form wants to use this constructor. We are going to create a constructor following the instructions of the question by adding parameters for the title, the ISBN, the cost and the ebook. We might not be certain of the data type that these parameters need to be. So, in this instance, we will have a look at what attributes are there, and they 
are going to indicate for us the data type. So the title in the ISBN is string. If sold at this stage is not being used as a parameter, so we are going to ignore that. The cost of the book, which is real, so we will have a parameter that is real. Selling price is not being received by your constructor. And then if ebook, whether it's available as an ebook or not, is Boolean. So we will add a Boolean parameter at the end. Once you have created this line of code, this is called the signature, you then press Control Shift C. And if you haven't made any errors at the top, then it should create for you what is called the skeleton code. So this is what the constructor looks like once I've completed it. But you will have the constructor heading and a begin and an end with nothing in between. So now what you need to do is you need to put the fields on the left. So fields, remember, comes first, F for first. They need to be on the left of the assignment statement. And my parameters will give them values on the right. Remember in grade 10 we learned that the right of the assignment statement gives a value to the left. And that is what we want to do with the create constructor. It's going to receive values uh, in the parameters from my main form. And then these parameters are going to give the fields values. These fields are also called attributes. They are one and the same thing, but in the papers they are often referred to attributes. But those are the variables declared at the top starting with an F. If I go back to the question, it says that we need to assign these values. That's what I explained now. And then set the number of books sold. So you had a field they called let's just scroll up if sold that's the number of books sold that value needs to be set to zero that is what this last part of the question is saying the next part of our program that we are going to use as an example is now asking us to calculate and set the selling price attribute of the book. Um, it says it's a method that will receive the percentage. So the word receive now means that I have a parameter. It is receiving the percentage. So the percentage I'm going to declare here as a real variable. And this is what does the cost need to increase by? This question is not telling me that it's returning a result. The word result will indicate it's a function. But since I don't see the word result anywhere in this question, it means that it's the procedure. And the word receive is indicating to me the parameter. So what I will do at the top here is I'm going to declare selling price with the percentage as a parameter that I've declared as a real parameter. Then I will push Control shift c and I will complete the question as what is asked in the question. The question says that this is the uh, price that the cost price needs to increase by to calculate the selling price you will see that we have a field called if selling price and if selling price will now be calculated using the cost price plus a certain percentage of the cost price so it's increasing what the book cost to calculate what am I selling it by and therefore we are setting the value of if selling that's what we've done here the next part of the question is now asking me to calculate and return the profit of the sales of this book. So the word return immediately indicates to me that it is a function. This function will not have any parameters because I don't see the word receive in here. It is calculating what the profit is of the books. So I've calculated the selling price 
and I now need to calculate what is the profit of the book sold. So my signature that I'm going to create is going to be under private because the question says this method should only be accessible to the class unit. That means that in my declaration of the signature, I'm going to put it under private, unlike the other methods that will be accessible to the main unit. So it is a function, it has no parameters. I'm calculating the profit and I'm going to say that the function's result will be a real data type because it's using cost that is real, it's using the selling price that is real. So therefore, my function will have a real data type and I'll push Control shift c and I will quickly calculate the profit of this book. So a function, remember, always needs a result. This result will match the data type of the function. This is real. And I'm going to calculate what the profit is by taking the number of books that I've sold times by the selling price and deduct it from that the number of books sold times by the cost of this book. And that will give me the profit of this book. The next question is asking me to write a method that will return the selling price attribute. Now, when a method is returning a, an attribute, that means it's an accessor method. Now, accessor methods are always public. And since they are returning a value, it will be a function. We will put them in public because they give my main form access to the fields or the attributes of my class. So this would be the signature that you would put in fun in public. Function, get selling price. We usually start our accessor methods with a get. And it is returning the selling price. And the selling price is real. So therefore my function will be real. Pushing control shift C. All I need to do is write result is assigned to if selling as it's returning the selling attribute for me. The next question is asking me to write a method that receives the number of books. So that means that's a parameter. Number of books would be an integer because I can't have one and a half book. And this number will be added to the number of books sold. Now, it's not explaining in the question that it needs to return a value. So therefore, this is a procedure. It will be public. This is called a mutator method. It's making changes to an existing field of my class. And mutator methods are always procedures. They're in public. And we start the name with set. We have one parameter as indicating by the question with the word receive. And I push Control shift c and I add this parameter to the number of books sold that have been sold already. The last question for this class is asking me to write a method that will return, meaning it's a function, the attributes of the class in the following format. And it gives you a layout of what your output should look like. Book information is merely a heading. You can see there's an empty line between book information and title. And you will see that these before the colons are all labels. And what is indicated by these brackets are the fields of your class. So title of book is if title. ISBN is if ISBN. And you need to match this. At the end here it says either available as an ebook or, or as a hard copy. So my function is going to be public. These functions are called two strings and they are always in public and the data type is always string. And I've never seen one with parameters. So most probably they don't have parameters. I will declare this function and then push control shift C. And I will complete my function, making sure that the result is returning a value. The result here is containing the first line of code. The hash tens is making an enter the first one and then the second one is having is creating an empty line. And then I build onto the string all the values that I need. 
in our next tutorial we will have a look at using this class hope this helps see you soon